Ab absolutely. Look, this is why you hire political consultants. You ask them to, in some ways, do due diligence on yourself. What are the vulnerable? And that's what this was. This was sort of, you know, what are her vulnerabilities? What does she have to work on? What should she be focused on? How are the Republicans going to attack her? I in many ways, it's exactly what you pay a political consultant to come up with, is to, you right. know, look through her background and all this stuff. And here it is. It's like, I mean, it's the equivalent in football terms of, the New England Patriots getting a copy of the New York Jets playbook. Uh, although, <laughs> I guess that you could argue, what would the Patriots, they could have the Jets playbook and it wouldn't matter, it's the Jets. <laughs> but the, the point is, it's seeing the other team's playbook, you see it there. And look, Republicans are pouncing on it by saying, hey, see, she's all image conscious, it makes her look like she's trying to portray herself as new to politics, it portrays herself she's just another image conscious politician wannabe and all this stuff. So it's a pretty, look, I think it's a pretty uh, bad hit on her. She already, it's already an uphill battle to run as a Democrat in Georgia, and she's trying to be authentic. In this day and age where you want authenticity matters, right. this makes it look like, you know, oh my God, it's everybody's worst stereotype of what politicians are like. Of, oh my God, they got people, think of that scene in The Simpsons <laughs> where Montgomery Burns starts running for governor. He's like, where's my oppo guy? Where's my poll? You know, and, he, and he's got all these people, and that's, you know, in the most, you know, ham-handed sense of the of, of way, that's what this looks like. But